The fiscal cliff is a combination of the expiration of the Bush era tax cuts and automatic across the board cuts in both domestic and defense programs that would total about $110 billion next year. For regular taxpayers, uh, they'll see a bigger bite in their paychecks from the federal government. As far as various programs, uh, Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has said this would be devastating to the Defense Department. Defense contractors have said this means we lose jobs and we'll have to make cuts. And the administration has also pointed out that this could hit other domestic programs. It could mean bo fewer Border Patrol agents um, in, on the U.S.-Mexico border, for example. It could be, mean fewer people prognosticating whether a hurricane is going to hit the East Coast or other weather-related uh, incidents, tornadoes and such. It would really affect just about every program in the federal government. Well, I think both President Obama, uh, House Speaker John Boehner, and Senate Majority Leader Reid were talking about working something out yesterday and at least giving hope to some sort of bipartisan agreement that could get this resolved in the next few weeks. A lot of people have seized on the fact that uh, yesterday Speaker Boehner talked about tax revenues being uh, part of any deal, which they see as a, a slight opening and you know a, a small degree of flexibility. So I think there, there is hope that something can get done. Uh, it was inevitable that they would have to deal with it. I think with the president's win, it gives them, um, they can seize on what was left on the table in August 2011. Uh, there was a framework for a deal that collapsed so at least there's, there's something there that they can pick up the pieces and see if they can put it back together and, and get something done before January 2nd.